On May 13, 1972, after 13 seasons of playing Eric Haas Cartwright on NBC's Bonanza, actor Dan Blocker suddenly died. His death complicated things because filming was just about to begin on the classic western's final season. Blocker was only 43 when he passed away, leaving behind friends, family, and hordes of fans who struggled to come to grips with his loss. No one saw it coming. He was intensely loved by cast and crew alike. He was described as easygoing and straightforward. Mitch Vogel, who played James in the last several seasons of Bonanza, described him as extremely approachable, the kind of person you'd want to grab a few beers with. His death presented a major problem for producers. It was unclear how the show could continue without him. His presence was essential for story arcs, and without him around, it was almost impossible to tie up some of the loose ends. This video will not only attempt to pay our respects to the late great actor, but also to see how his death impacted the conclusion of Bonanza and how the way it was addressed was absolutely unprecedented at the time. Dealing with the death of a major character on a TV series may be commonplace these days, but it wasn't always such an ordinary happening. Blocker's death was historic and in many ways the world of network TV was never the same. What went wrong? In 1972, a year before his death, Blocker and his family moved to Switzerland because he'd become very dissatisfied with U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. He would commute back and forth to L.A. to film Bonanza. He had just arrived in the U.S. and was about to start filming the final season when he started feeling sick. He went to the hospital and it was determined he needed to have his gallbladder removed. The procedure is fairly routine. In the United States, 1.2 million people undergo the operation every year. After going under the knife, Blocker felt like he was in the clear. After all, he'd been experiencing the painful effects of gallstones for quite some time. It must have felt like a weight off his shoulders to know he wouldn't have to deal with that kind of pain anymore. And at first, it certainly looked as if his surgery had gone as planned. But while he was in recovery, he suddenly developed a pulmonary embolism, a blockage of an artery in his lung, and he died. It all happened so quickly. One minute he was here, smiling, optimistic, and hopeful, and the next he was gone in the blink of an eye. His remains were taken to Woodman Cemetery in his hometown of DeKalb, Texas, where his family held a private funeral and laid him to rest beside his father, mother, and sister. Lauren Green, who played Ben Cartwright, expressed great sorrow over Dan's death. He was also the first to express doubt that Bonanza could go on without him. He didn't see how the show could continue. That's it, he told his wife. It's finished. But even though there is some truth to that statement, it wasn't quite the end of Bonanza just yet. Producers decided the show still deserved one final season to say goodbye, to finish what it had started, and to accomplish this in Blocker's absence, they'd have to take unprecedented steps that never in the history of TV had been done before. Little Joe and Alice Harper It was decided Blocker's character, Hoss, would be killed off in the show as well. Audiences would be forced to feel the loss that the cast and crew felt. It was a difficult time for everyone. For the two-part season opener, Forever, writer Michael Landon had originally written the script with Dan Blocker in mind, but following his passing, he was forced to rewrite the script, swapping Haas out for his little brother Joe. In the heart-wrenching episode, little Joe falls in love with a young lady named Alice Harper. They meet when he rescues her gambling brother John from a poker game gone awry. Alice and little Joe get married and are expecting a child when evil comes knocking at their door. Alice's brother John owes a large debt to a ruthless gambler named Sloane. When he and his henchmen come to Alice's house to try to collect on her brother's debt, she refuses to comply with their demands. Alice is then beaten to death, John is shot, and to cover up the crime, the house is set ablaze. Joe returns home to see his life literally burning to the ground. The rest of the episode covers the aftermath of the horrific event. Just a quick side note, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Tap the bell icon to turn on notifications and stay tuned to find out not only how Haas died, but what Bonanza was like without him. Haas's absence was heavily felt. If you're confused what all that has to do with Haas's death, it becomes obvious when the characters are seen in their grieving process. Sure, Forever may not have directly addressed Blocker's death, but there were some obvious references to his passing. Landon explained they wanted to mention Haas's death in passing, and although that approach might not have been the kind of memorable episode some fans had hoped for, he believed Dan would have wanted it that way, short and sweet and to the point. 
In one scene, Joe takes Alice to see one of his favorite locations. He says he and his big brother used to call it their happy place. Alice replies by saying he must have loved him very much. Joe's anguished reaction to that statement speaks volumes. In a later scene where Ben and Joe grieve the loss of Alice and her unborn child at their grave, Ben mentions he knows what it's like to lose a son. Not too long after that, Ben is seen staring at a picture of Haas on Joe's dresser with immense sadness in his eyes. The most emotional scene of the episode, though, is when Ben and little Joe go visit the charred remains of the cabin that Alice and her baby were murdered in. Joe and Ben embrace each other and start crying in a very out-of-character fashion. Everyone on the set that day knew the two actors weren't simply method acting. Their pain was real and rooted in the anguish felt when losing their cherished friend and co-star. After the scene had finished being filmed, the majority of cast and crew joined Landon and Green on set and cried with them. For the rest of the season, Ben repeatedly makes mention of the loss of his son Hoss, although it's never explicitly revealed how he died until many years later. In the reboot series, Bonanza, The Next Generation, which premiered in 1988, it was revealed Haas died while trying to save another person's life. The cause of death was drowning. Filming While in Mourning As you can imagine, Dan's passing was hard for the cast and crew of Bonanza to come to terms with. To many, it was like losing a member of the family. But filming the Forever episode, despite how emotionally pulling it was, was actually quite cathartic for everyone involved. As soon as the camera started rolling, everyone was sitting around sharing their favorite memories of Blocker. It was, remember when Dan did X, and if only Dan was here now to see why. Still, the first scene they shot after his death was the hardest. Although the dining room scenes typically were some of the most serious, Michael Landon recalled how many laughs were shared in the Cartwright's dining room. Those memories now came with an extra dose of sadness. Blocker had a sense of humor that was sorely missed when he was gone. Memories of the good times became bittersweet in retrospect. The End of Bonanza In truth, Bonanza was already on its last leg before the death of Dan Blocker. Ratings had been dropping for quite some time. But the final nail in the show's coffin came with Haas's absence. Bonanza's time slot had been switched from its popular 9 p.m. Sunday night position to Tuesday nights at 8. Although that might not be as bad as the notorious Friday night death slot, it still represented a major downturn in viewership. In its new slot, it was pitted against the immensely popular movie of the week on ABC, which featured films like Brian's Song, Ben-Hur, and Michael Christen's Pursuit. At the end of the day, no one was really interested in watching the final season of Bonanza. Without Haas, it simply wasn't the same show. Regardless, the cast and crew gave the last season their best shot, and in 1973, Bonanza wrapped up and its reruns went into syndication, a noble afterlife for a classic TV show. You can watch Bonanza on MeTV or on a number of streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu, although you should be warned, the last season, without Haas, really is the least entertaining one. It's clear the show's chemistry had taken a major hit it couldn't recover from. Dan Blocker certainly contributed to a lot of the heart and soul of Bonanza. It's not surprising the show no longer resonated with audiences after his departure. That's not to say the rest of the cast weren't necessary additions as well. In fact, it's hard to picture Bonanza without any of the Cartwrights. Who was your favorite Cartwright brother? Little Joe, Adam, or Hoss? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you show us some support by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel if you haven't already, and turning on notifications by tapping the bell icon.